they have to do a data log and see how the engine's running. So one of the <coughs> things you can use to data log is WinALDL. Uh, get that free. Just Google that and you'll find that. You can download it here. And the way what uh, WinALDL looks like this. It's uh, basically a grid. I've got it has some tabs up here. This is the raw data. These are all the sensors on the side that it's data logging. It's all along the side here. And then <clears throat> it's got flag data. Uh, sensor data here. And this is converted in a way that you can understand the data versus the raw data is just what the computer understands. Then it has error codes. Uh, beyond which is block learn multiplier. So this is your fuel table, this is your main fuel table. And over here on the side, you have your RPMs. And on the top is map. That's your map. That's basically how much you have the throttle open, how much load is on the engine, uh, based on vacuum on your map sensor. So there's a grid corresponding and you, there's several different, then there's integrator, I'll just go through all these tabs at the top. And that's also a fuel adjustment, that's a, sorry, this is BLM, is your short term fuel t trims, and then your long term fuel trims, I believe that's what it is, the integrator is the long term fuel trim. Uh, then your O2 sensor readings, these are in volts. And spark knock. If you have any spark knock, it'll show up here on this. It'll tell you what RPM and, and what throttle position it showed up at. And then there's also a dash. So you can get this. It tells your engine, your vehicle speed, engine speed. Uh, that's your load. That's your um, your vacuum throttle position. O2 sensor voltage, so that's a dash, and it has configuration for different ECM types. And what I'm dealing with here is a 1227747 ECM. That's your throttle body injection ECM from I think it's 87 through 92. And there's some other throttle body ECMs that are a little faster. Uh, that started in 93, I believe. So, and then it has the communication port that you're plugging into because you need a cable to connect your laptop to your uh, ALDL port on your, on your vehicle. Okay, so that's a basic overview of the when ALDL and also <clears throat> there's uh, when you're logging your block learn multiplier anything that's less than 128 like here we got 111 you're running rich and the based on feedback from the O2 sensor your ECM is cutting the fuel so it's taking fuel out it's less than 128. It's above 128, then you run a little lean, and it's adding fuel. So right here, this this column is gonna be wide open throttle, and I'm running at 126, which is real close to 128, so I'd leave that alone. And basically, that's where your fuel pressure adjustment comes in. At wide open throttle, it doesn't use the O2 sensor for feedback, for fuel mixture anymore. That's just a part throttle. Full throttle, it uh, <clears throat> it goes off a set uh, map and but this also tells gives an indicator if you're running rich or lean and you can look at your O2 sensor readings in that area and I'm running almost one volt, 0.9 volts which there's somewhere on the internet you can find a table what that voltage reading 
corresponds to in fuel mixture, but you want it to run about eight to nine at full throttle. So then there's also at the bottom here, you can, uh, let's go back to the BLM table. There's, uh, so right now these numbers are wide average. So it's averaging the numbers on, in the wide. And you can change that to number of samples. So that's important because you don't want to make changes on something you only have one sample, say like here. I only have one sample. I don't want to base my change on one sample. I want at least 20, 30 samples in there. Maybe more, you know, the more the better. So right in here, this is probably my idle. It's on 35 to 51 idle. It must be idling right in here. Uh, so that has a lot of samples there. And there is my wide average. For idle so it's running a little rich at idle but pretty good at full at the uh, partial throttles are pretty good just at the low throttles it's running rich because I bumped up the fuel pressure so you can change that to number of samples wide average it's all different settings And then you can also save that table and then it'll make a little file out of that and you can come back later. See, it just created that file. And you can come back later and look at that and see how what, what your data log looks like. So that's when ALDL.